This is lab entry number three. My name is Sari Saban. Today is the 25th of December 2018 and I will be talking about machine learning and artificial neural networks. So what is an artificial neural network? Just the way our brains are constructed, we have neuronal cells that are connected to multiple neuronal cells. An artificial neural network is the same structure but a computer and a script usually written in python sometimes written in other languages such as c++ anyway it's a node connected to multiple nodes and a node usually is a mathematical operation so there are different architectures of artificial neural networks some of them are designed to recognize speech or sounds some of them are designed to classify images for example exactly what i'm going to do here so one of the famous ways of classifying images is using the convolutional neural network architecture. And this architecture is not very complicated. It's basically, it seems complicated when you look at its uh, images uh, of, uh, you know, when they draw it out and the, uh, when they open it and they draw it out. Uh, and its name seems to be like convoluted. It's, it's not actually very complicated. What it does basically is it takes an image and reduces it, reduces it, reduces it until it's very small and it doesn't look like an image that we recognize but it has a specific pattern. And when you give many examples of a specific type of image to the neural network, the neural network will be able to see a specific pattern that is common to all these images. So, so for example, if we give um, a data set made up of cats and dogs, just pictures of cats and dogs to the convolution neural network, it will be able to see that all these cats have a specific pattern that is common to all of them. And all these dog pictures, they have another different um, pattern that is common to all of them. Uh, so when you give the neural network a new image it hasn't seen before, uh, whether a cat or a dog, it can see that pattern and says, oh yeah, when I recognize that particular pattern, I can say that this is a cat or this is a dog. What I'm doing here is slightly at a higher level. So instead of looking at an image, an entire image, and saying whether it is a cat, a, an image of a cat or an image of a dog, no. We are looking at one image and trying to see what is inside the image. Are there, is, is there one cat or multiple cats? Is there a mixture of cats and dogs? And that's exactly what I'm doing with dinoflagellates. I'm, I'm setting up I haven't wrote the neural network myself. I don't need to reinvent the wheel if it already exists. So I am taking a neural network architecture called YOLO, or you only look once. And this neural network architecture performs object detection. The network basically takes an image, segments it, and looks at every segment, tries to classify it, and then when it detects an object, it tries to draw a bounding box around it. And obviously it tells you how many of these uh, bounding boxes exist in one uh, image and uh, what they are. So you can have an image of a mixture of cells or mixture, a mixture of objects and it can still detect all the objects within that picture. So let's take uh, a look at some of the code. Uh, this is you only look once version 2. I will not be using version 2, I will be using version 3. Version 2 is simpler and can run on my system. Actually, sorry, no, it doesn't run on my system. It can run on smaller systems. Uh, I tried it on my system and just crashes, crashes my computer. Uh, but I can um, request free uh, graphical, uh, gra graphical processing units, GPUs, uh, from Google in a service called uh, Collaboratory, and it works there. So it's, it's, uh, it's a smaller network. You can see here, here, this is the network. This is exactly where the nodes are connected to each node. You, uh, uh, this layer uh, performs a... A, 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 a um, mathematical function, then we reduce the image, then and so on. It's uh, I won't get into the details, but this is the neural network. It's uh, you, you can see it's just several lines, uh, but the rest of the script is basically uh, image processing. So we need to process the image in such a way we can push it through the neural network, uh, and we're not only going to classify the image. We're not going to say whether this is this type of cell or this type of cell. No. Um, we are going to segment it and we want in return, rather than uh, a classification, we want bounding boxes. We want the location and the size of the objects that we want to detect. Um, so in order to push the data 
through this neural network, we have to tell, we have to give examples to the neural network. So everything that I have written in this project so far can be found on my GitHub page. Um, you can go to my GitHub and here is everything you can see the YOLO version 2 Python script which I haven't written I just uh, modified a little bit and if you want to run it on collaboratory uh, Google's collaboratory I have provided a uh, um, a Jupyter notebook um, uh, uh, file for it. Uh, there is also the YOLO version 3 but this neural network requires a larger system um, so it can't run on Google's uh, free GPU uh, service. This script here is what allows us to label images. So if we take a look at it uh, again it was it was written by someone else so this is the license for it of course and a little bit of how to use it and then I've added a little bit of my script here on top of uh, his work to make it easier um, to use at least for this project and we start by adding the labels so here for example let's say we have two species of uh, of cells let's say a species um, uh, x and species uh, y all right, we save this and then we execute this script. Um, and I think it was B. Yeah, so I've loaded some images. I just got these images from uh, Google uh, randomly. I haven't taken these images. Um, I've added them here in the directory images and what will happen is that I'm going to annotate them now and when I annotate them this program will save the annotations in the annotation directory so it's very simple here I've got the classifications uh, or, the, or, or the, the types of classification that I want to make I've got X and Y and I can just say here this for example is X and this one is X and maybe let's say uh, this one is y and we press next it saves you can see here it's a very simple text file uh, there are three objects here this is their location so this location draws a box exactly the, the box i've written and this is what the uh, box represents the the class and obviously this is image two it's for some reason it's not it doesn't go it doesn't move through the images chronologically and the next image uh, or the previous image this is another one here let's say this one for example we're just pretending here because I don't have actual images of the cells that I'm going to use let's say this is Y and this is Y and this is Y and maybe let's say these are X um, again this is just an example we don't do it this way we um, what, what, what I mean by is we don't label them X and Y we label them in their correct uh, names and obviously it's very clear from this image that these cells are all the same cells, obviously, but I'm just giving you an example of how we annotate images. And now these images have bounding boxes around the objects that we are interested in. It's already open here, yeah. What we will do later is we will translate these texts into, we can, we can close this program now we will translate the, this text file into an XML file so the neural network can read it. So we will say uh, Python 3 uh, label and translate. There we go. Translated to an XML file. It's exactly the same information but written a different way specifically for the neural network to uh, read. Again, so you can see we have got uh, nine objects here. This is object Y, and this is the bounding box. Object Y, bounding box, object Y, bounding box, X, bounding box, and so on. What will happen now is that uh, this type of uh, uh, data set now, made of only two images, I can push through the neural network. I can't run the neural network here because uh, there isn't enough system resources for my local computer to to handle even the YOLO 2, uh, YOLO version 2, 2 neural network. Uh, but this is the type of database that I will be generating. Uh, 
I will be taking many different um, images, microscope images of dinoflagellates. I'm going to request that the dinoflagellates will come in pure culture. So every slide will have just one species of dinoflagellates. That way it's easy for me to annotate. Um, then I will develop this database exactly as you've seen. And um, from this database, I will be able to push it through the neural network and the neural network will be able to classify these images. And one of the ways I hope uh, to achieve from this project is a neural network that is able to classify dinoflagellates, of course, but that it can be used to visualize and class and, and see the, the different species of dinoflagellates in real time. Uh, I'm going to post to you here uh, um, an example of a video that is performing uh, this same neural network on a video, but instead of, obviously, instead of detecting um, cells, it's detecting objects like people, bicycles, and cars. So I hope you found this lab entry useful. Next time I will prepare a smaller data set of images already annotated and I'm going to show you how I perform the neural network training.